Hey one hey all, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be looking at not one, not two, but three Transformers, kind of. These are the action micro figurines from World's Smallest. And there's Optimus, there's Bumblebee, there's Starscream, and we're going to look at all three of them in the latest Got By True review. Hey one hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, aka Gotbot. As always, man, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe them while you're at it. Light them up, baby. <coughs> Hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton. It lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all of my social media links. All that in the description down below. Also in the description down below. And if you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. You can check us out on Patreon. You can see what we have to offer to you through spring. Or, of course, you can hit the join button right here on YouTube and become a channel member. And this is the world's smallest um, action master figurines. They are officially licensed. It's Starscream. It's Bumblebee. It's... Optimus. I want to thank Grimlock Gon for sending me these three lads. And I kind of, you know, I'm happy to have them for a specific reason, which we'll talk about. This is not going to be a long one. I'm not going to waste any time. How about we head over to the table and take a closer look at these lads? And yes, here indeed we have what I guess is wave one of the um, micro, sorry, action micro figurines. For Transformers. This is part of, I think, World's Smallest. So uh, there's a lot of different lines and they have a lot of franchises and this is what they've offered up for Transformers. It, of course, is Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, and Starscream at the far end. Um, I guess <laughs> we'll talk about the packaging first. Now, to be fair, the packaging on all three of these is exactly the same. So I'm going to remove two and I'll kind of talk about the packaging for one um, because, it, like I said, it's the same for all of them. And I guess we'll start with B. So on the packaging on the front, of course, we have, uh, for example, in the case of B, we have Transformers up top, then the little yellow, uh, I guess, piece over here, the little yellow box has Bumblebee in it. Naturally, Starscream has Starscream on it. Optimus Prime has Optimus Prime on it. It says Micro Action Figurine, uh, kind of right there. You probably can't really pick it out. Optimus Prime art on the side, and then we have like the Transformers and the Hasbro and the um, Action Micro uh, Figurines logos all down there. On the back, we have what is essentially the G1 artwork, which is really neat, honestly. And of course, like it says, collect them all and all of this stuff. But there's something different here than on the original packaging. And it's this little door right here. Opens up on the back, and then you can take out this little piece of plastic that's got the display stand on it. Not that he really needs it. You can then remove this piece of plastic, and you can, of course, pour out Bumblebee. Um, but if you want to put it back in the packaging, you got it there, which I think is kind of neat. So, now that we've got that open, and by the way, this is a, like a hard plastic. It's not cardboard. It's a hard plastic, which is very nice. Uh, now that we've got that done, I know it's the same for all three. Let's kind of focus in on Bumblebee himself. Before we dive into Bumblebee, I figured I'd better show this. This is the display stand. It's a, a clear piece of plastic with... You'll notice a little peg, a little dimple up here, a little tiny, tiny peg. It goes into Bumblebee's foot. He does have a hole there for it. I assume that's the same for Optimus and Starscream. Not that he needs it because he stands like a champ anyway. So I should also note this. I mean, I say that this is like wave one of this because I don't know if there's going to be more, but I, I, you know, they have licenses for so many things from Uno to Ninja Turtles to G.I. Joe to different video games to almost Hello Kitty to everything under the sun, right? They have little tiny, teeny figurines for naturally our interest here is Transformers, but there's probably some other ones from some other lines that might interest you and serve your purposes as well as a collector. In case you are curious about his scale, obviously he is very, very tiny. This is him next to the KBB Hornets agent. Uh, kind of an upsized version of Bumblebee, uh, roughly the same size as, say, 
oh, about deluxe cliff jumper-ish size, deluxe bumblebee size, like it's kind of in that range. Maybe slightly shorter, but certainly in that range. So you can see that this is a tiny, tiny bee. And here we have a close-up of bee, nicely painted. Paint on the legs, paint on the arms, paint on the hands, paint on the um, headlights and the bumper and up on the head including his blue eyes and all the blue for his windshield and his side windows and his I guess rear windshield the back of the guy has the molded in tire the legs don't move the arms can go around a full 360 and the head can go left to right not a bad little bee if you ask me and there's his range of motion. By the way, the movement on the head and the arms is the same for all of them. It's too bad about the legs. You can sort of flex them, but I wouldn't. This is very small plastic. And obviously this is meant more for display than it is for anything else. And there's a place where this belongs. And next up we have Itty Bitty Optimus Prime. Now, here's the, the one bad thing. Like, the scale is exactly the same. So like Bumblebee, the little micro Bumblebee is the exact same size as Optimus Prime. I mean, it's not perfect, but it is what it is. You can see how these like tiny micro guys scale with a Voyager in this case, being the Earthrise Optimus himself. Here's a little bit of a closer look at him. Um, I mean, he's painted really well. He has the yellow lights that he should have. He has uh, the Autobot symbol uh, kind of up on his shoulder. Uh, it's too bad that his elbow's got the silver. They shouldn't. They should still be red. His head, though you probably can't see it, has the blue painted eyes, has the silver crest and all of that stuff. We have the blue um, on his pelvis underneath the yellow lights. We even have gray down on his toes, though you can't really see it. And if we turn the guy around, here he is, here he is on the side with the, um, the gas tank colored in and then on the back. Here we have the back of the guy. I love how they even painted in the tires on the back of his legs. I think that that was a really nice touch. Great little Optimus. As for articulation, the exact same. The head can go left and right and the arms can go around 360 and that's it. And last but not least, here we have Starscream. By the way, I didn't mention it with Optimus, but I'll mention it with Starscream. While Bumblebee doesn't need the display stand because he has, you know, big chunky feet, Optimus and Starscream do. Without it, they tend to fall backwards. So the display stand isn't really necessary for Bumblebee. I mean, you can see Bumblebee stands there no problem next to Starscream. Starscream has the base on him when I try to stand up Optimus Prime next to Bumblebee. He's staying now, but usually he falls back. So I guess, I guess you could get it to work for Optimus and Starscream, but it's a little more finicky because um, their, you know, their feet just aren't as big as Bumblebee. So I'm going to take Bumblebee here back out of it. You can see, of course, the scale as per usual. By the way, take note that uh, reports have come in that the Earthrise Starscream is subject to some of the yellowing issues that we have seen happening. Has not happened to mine. I have not actually seen an image of it, but I have had reports come to me of people saying theirs is turning yellow and was not in the sun. Take that for what you will, right? Uh, nevertheless, here you go. We have these two together. You can see how tiny he is. And here we have Starscream up a little closer. Um, it's pretty good. I wish the head had the helmet darker instead of being all this soft gray. The red eyes, I think, are a little overdone. He does not have the Septicon logos on the front of his wings. His arms move the exact same way as the others, but they can't go all the way around because the wings are in the way. Uh, the head can move left and right, but with the shoulder pauldrons, you're not getting much out of it. So he's definitely the most limited in terms of articulation. Here he is. Take that out of it. Here he is on the side, and this is what I wanted to get to. Around to the back, I think it's very clean, looks very, very good. Um, one thing I do like is that the side of his legs does not, he, like, he doesn't have his tail fins, because he shouldn't. They shouldn't be there. They're, they're not there in robot mode, which is part of the reason why I'm a, not a huge fan of the Earthrise. This is a pretty great little star screen, but I think of all three of them, he probably has the most limitations, and in terms of paint, I think his might be the weakest. I think at the end of the day, they're meant to be used in this sort of fashion, right? They scale very nice with Titans. Now, uh, as time goes on, and I get into things like Season 3 and 4 of Universal Collision, 
Surely I will have scenes where these guys will be shown with Fortress Maximus and Metroplex and whatnot. But with the arc here, you can see, like, again, they're still a little bit big for scaling with the arc, um, but they're, <laughs> they're infinitely better than like Legends class offerings, right? Legends class offerings still tons too big to actually scale with the arc, but this kind of works. And if I go in just a little bit more, I feel like it is believable that, yeah, these guys are boarding this big spaceship, right? And I guess Starscream is pursuing them. I get it, I get it. It'd be nice if the legs could move a bit. And there is a third party company, I can't remember who it is off, off the top of my head, that are doing some better articulated little nano guys. And you know what? I think that there's a place for them. Certainly with Combiners and with Titans, they make great sense. I want to thank Grimlock Gone for sending these three my way. Um, they're fun. They're simple, but they're fun. The paint, considering how small we're talking, I'm going to give them an overall score of about an 8. The articulation is you know, it's a 1, a 2. I mean, exceedingly limited, but, you know, it is what it is. Transformation 0, they don't transform. But for this... You know, for for what they're kind of meant to accomplish, I don't think they need to transform. It'd be cool if they did, but I don't think they need to. And honestly, for something that's four centimeters tall, that's 1.65 inches, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere around there, one half inches tall, about four centimeters or so, like, this is all they need to do, and they do it exceedingly well. And here we are once again, and I do have them here. So, kind of my hot takes as we get out of here. First, Bumblebee. Looks quintessentially like Bumblebee. I mean, the detail is really impressive. Uh, it's too bad that there's no movement on the lower body that I can really discern. Uh, but it's neat that the arms move and the head moves. This will certainly be useful to somebody like me in terms of scale for some Titans and combiners with uh, Universal Collision. Great for stop motion. Little niche, but they definitely have a place that they sort of belong, you know? It's nice that it, it, there's even a little bit of movement because that kind of helps, you know, my filming a little bit um, at certain locations, you know, where I could throw a bumblebee in there, right? So I'm okay with that. Too bad it doesn't transform, but I mean, look how tiny it is. I get it. Even the world's smallest transformers that transform, I don't think are quite this micro. We also have uh, Optimus Prime. I thought Optimus Prime was done especially well. The detail here is really good, right down to the tires on the back of his legs. Like, I think that's really, really neat. Um, they didn't need to do that, and they did. Again, same sort of movement. It's very simple, but it's neat to have for the exact same reasons as Bumblebee. And then uh, lastly, we have Starscream, wife's favorite, Starscream. And again, I thought that this was done really well. The only thing that I wish is that the top of his head had a dark gray on it. I don't know, maybe I'll come up with some sort of a gunmetal gray and attempt to do to the top of his head. I don't know, because it's really, really, really small. Nevertheless, even with that piece left out, like this is quintessentially Starscream, like you know it. These are most definitely not for everybody. I think in the States they're sold for about $5, maybe, maybe that. Um, huge shout out, huge thank you to Grimlock Gun for sending me these my way so that not only could I have a look at them, but they will be helpful later on with some things with Universal Collision. So. Big thanks once again. What do you think of these little micro lads? Are you in for them, not in for them? Do you like them, do you not like them? I know a lot of people instantaneously tap out as soon as they say, oh, it doesn't transform. But in this case, I think it makes sense. Let me know what you think about them. I appreciate you guys coming by, giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. You can check us out on Patreon. You can see what we have to offer to you through Spring. Or of course, you can hit the join button right here on YouTube and become a channel member. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, stick around and have some fun with us. And remember that somehow, some way, each and every single solitary day, man, you do make a difference. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned way right here inside the videos.